guys, it's Chloe, and today I am here with a brand new video. Today I'm bringing you guys my July wrap up, and guys, I completed 10 books in the month of July. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. Lately, I have just been on top of my reading, and I have felt so great. I am like four books ahead on my Goodreads challenge. I am just on top of it all. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the books. Now the first book I completed in the month of July is Happily Ever After by Kiera Cass. And this is a collection of the short stories from the Selection series. And I read most of this in June, but I finished it in July. And I am just so obsessed with this series, guys. I'm so obsessed. I gave this book a five out of five stars. The next book I completed, I actually listened to the audiobook for this book, and it is The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury, and this is the first book in the Sin Eater's Daughter trilogy, I believe. I gave this one a two and a half out of five stars, and the only reason I actually read it was because the July book of the month for Once Upon a Read Along is the uh, sequel, The Sleeping Prince. So I had to read this book to read the next book, and I've just, I overall was not impressed with this book. So just two and a half out of five stars. The next book I completed is Amy and Rogers Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, and this was my first Morgan Matson book that I've ever read and I loved it. It was so good. I love, love, love the road trip aspect of it. I love that this entire book is a road trip novel and it's opened me up to more road trip novels because I've only ever read one other one which was An Abundance of Catherines and this was just such a good book. I give it a five out of five stars on Goodreads and I love that she included pictures from the road trip that she did that inspired this book and oh it was just such a good read. I definitely definitely recommend Morgan Matson. The next book I read is The Sleeping Prince by Melinda Salisbury and this is the Once Upon a Read Along book of the month for July. Now this book honestly I did not enjoy it. I think I gave it a one and a half out of five stars and that's because this book is not in Twila's point of view. Twila's the main character in The Sin Eater's Daughter. It is in Aaron's point of view and Aaron is the sister of Leaf and Leaf is Twila's bodyguard in The Sin Eater's Daughter. Books just fell everywhere. This book confused me so much. I think it was set, a, it's set a few years after The Sin Eater's Daughter but we're not told that and this book I just I overall did not enjoy it. If you'd like more of my opinion as well as Elizabeth from the Owlry's opinion you can watch our live show that is this coming Sunday August 7th at 6 p.m. on her channel. I will leave all the information about it down below. Now at this point of time in the month the booktubeathon has started and if you would like to know how my entire booktubeathon went I will leave the link to my booktubeathon vlogs uh, down below. I did six out of the seven video challenges where I uploaded those on each of the days and then my entire week vlog was uploaded last week and I will link that down below for you to check it out. So the next book I completed is The Air by Kiera Cass. This is the fourth book in the selection series and this book was still so amazing. It kept me on my toes the entire time reading it and it was just so good. Now this is set 20 years later so if you have not read uh, the selection series um, I can't really say much about it but just know that it is so good. So so good. I give it a five out of five stars and I absolutely cannot wait to read The Crown and finish the series. I'm just oh it was amazing. The next book I read I also actually listened to the audiobook for this and it is Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. And this, I have actually seen the movie of this book before and I really enjoyed the movie. And I did not know it was a book before then, but it was actually pretty good. Uh, the audiobook was very fast paced. I loved listening to the audiobook. Overall, I gave this a four out of five stars. The next book I completed is Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. And I also listened to the audiobook for this one. And I honestly did not enjoy this book as much. I gave this one a two out of five stars. And I understood parts of it, but there were other parts that were just really, really confusing. And I 
overall just did not enjoy this book. The next book I completed, it was also an audiobook that I listened to. This was just the month of audiobooks for me, and it was That Summer by Sarah Dessen, and this book was actually really, really cute. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it a four out of five stars. The other Sarah Dessen book I read as well, um, like a year ago, I also enjoyed. So she has a really, really good contemporary writing, and it was a really, really good read. The next book I completed was Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan, and I just read all of their books during July, and this one I really, really enjoyed. It's a Christmas, Christmas e-book, but it was so good. I definitely recommend it. I like the whole scavenger hunt aspect of it, about them leaving the red notebook in different places, and I thought that was really, really awesome and cute. I love scavenger hunts as is, so that was really, really cool in a book form. And this book was just really cute, and I definitely enjoyed it. I gave it a four out of five stars. And the last book I read in July is You Are Here by Jennifer E. Smith. And this is another road trip book, and I actually pretty much enjoyed this book for the most part. It did take a little getting used to, um, because I didn't have an audiobook to read for it, but I still pretty much enjoyed it. I opted not to rate this book just because I didn't know what rating to give it, but overall it was pretty good. It is about a girl named Emma who finds out that she had a twin brother who died a few days after they were born, and she steals her older brother's car to drive all the way to North Carolina to visit his grave, and she takes her neighbor's son Peter with her, and they have a little road trip together. So guys, those are all of the books that I completed in the month of July. Right now I'm currently reading The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, and I'm not too far into it. I'm about 30 pages in, but so far it's pretty good, and I'm trying to figure out why she has a ton of dogs in front of an ice cream truck, because so far this book has nothing to do with dogs or ice cream trucks. But I'm really excited to be continuing on with this book very soon. So guys, that is all I have for this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like a behind the scenes look at my life as well as some of the other things that I'm interested in, you can check out my second channel, Cloessence. The link is down below. And if you like what you see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!